first runner-up is Miss Onalaska Maddie Ajax. Miss Rock River Valley is your new Miss Wisconsin. Isn't that a great moment? <laughs> uh, that happened just over two weeks ago in Oshkosh. Racine native Alyssa Bohm under the local title Miss Rock River Valley was crowned Miss Wisconsin 2019. And we are thrilled to have Alyssa with us today. Yeah, she's also a teacher at her alma mater. It's Case High School where she works with special needs students. Alyssa is also currently the youngest member in the history of the Special Olympics Wisconsin Board of Directors. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Thank congrats. You so much for having me. What's it like seeing that video of you being crowned again? I'm sure it never gets old. Oh, uh, as we were just watching it now, I started to get teary eyed because I I was very prepared to become Miss Wisconsin, but I was also prepared to not win Miss Wisconsin. So having that moment become a reality is still a whirlwind for me. Yeah, yeah but you've competed four different times for the title of Miss Wisconsin. Yes, I have. How, you know, because a lot of people will say, well, how does that happen? How does that work that you come back year after year? Because you have to win a local title mm -hmm. before you can come back, correct? Yeah, my first title I won was in 2015. I was Miss Racine, so I was able to represent my own community where I'm from. And after that, I kind of caught the bug of being a part of the Miss America organization. And it gives an opportunity for all of us to go back and compete for the state job because we have open titles. So yeah. I held three open titles, which allows any girl across the state of Wisconsin to be able to compete and travel and compete for that job as Miss Wisconsin. So I've been very grateful to have so many opportunities that have truly set me up for success for this one year that I'm going to have now. Yeah. Uh, how unusual is your situation? Because uh, you're 24, right? Yes. And you've already graduated graduated from college, you're already working, a working professional, you're a teacher as we mentioned at Case, um, which is your alma mater, which yeah. is super cool. But I would think that experience would help you over some of the, the younger girls because you've not only been through yeah. the competition, but you have more life experience. Definitely. I have told my parents multiple times again that, you know, this year going to Miss Wisconsin, I feel more prepared than I ever have before because of the experiences that I've gained through the past three years that I've been in the organization and being a full-time professional. I gained so much experience working with my students, working with other colleagues, being in the community, just seeing what resources were out there really truly set me up for this job and that's what it is. It's really truly a job so I'm yeah. very grateful to have this opportunity now. You have to take a year off of work to do the job of Miss Wisconsin but you mentioned your parents and we've been teasing <laughs> this so we need to talk about it yes. because your father has an unusual job. He does. He is a professional magician. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> he does magic for a living. So he travels all over the country. He's actually traveling right now. He'll be at Summerfest really? July 3rd and 4th. So go and visit him. He'll be at the kids' What's his stage. name? What's his? The Magic of Bob Bohm. But he's okay. not only a magician, he also does a game show. It's a Survivor Family game show. And then he does an agricultural <laughs> family food show. So Farmly he's a food. jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> we got to have him on the show too. Yes, yeah, that definitely. Exactly. That is fantastic. Yeah, so, I, so I great. grew up with it. I grew up being on stage. You and his assistant. I was his assistant. And I was his van. Vanna White, as I always say, yeah. and he's cut me in half. He's made me disappear. I've done it all. <laughs> it's cut me in half. I want to see so that. Great. I want to do it on the show. Yes, I do. I want to see that. I, that's not your talent. It is not for the competition. But when I was Mr. Scene, I did do magic while I was tap dancing. So. You did not. Look at you go. <laughs> I think tap awesome. dancing is hard. It is a hard skill of dance to be able to do it takes a lot of adrenaline to be able to stay consistent throughout the whole routine i'd say yeah wow i did the splits like that once on the show and it broke my foot yeah oh broke she did toe. it here in studio oh. yeah broke <laughs> broke her toe not fun. you're a little better you're <laughs> yeah. a little bit better um do you think that what do you think it was this time i mean obviously you have experience but why do you think you won this time do you think it was that preparation yes i think it was the preparation and I live my social impact initiative, enhancing opportunities for individuals with special needs. I live it every day as a special education teacher and as someone who has a family member with an intellectual disability. But now being in a professional setting and seeing a whole different world of what the special education world provides to students with disabilities provided me with more stories and for more plans as Miss Wisconsin to implement within our state. So that's what a lot of people don't understand is the difference between the Miss America organizations, not only the scholarships, mm -hmm. but there's also that social initiative that you work 
towards throughout the whole year. Yeah. So what will you be doing? Because that's your connection to Vince Vetrano as well, yes. is the Special Olympics, the board and everything. So my plan as Miss Wisconsin is to travel the state and implement inclusivity within our school environments and within our community. As you said, I am a good friend to Vince Petrano because we're both on the board of directors for Special Olympics. And I've already talked to them about my plans of implementing the Unified Sports Program. So it's a program that Special Olympics has that provides an opportunity for non-disabled students and students with disabilities to work together whether that be creating a sports team or going to a Special Olympics event and just being fans in the stands. Okay. All different elements go along with being a part of the inclusive program and that is what I want to do is implementing that across the state. Yeah. Good for you. You have a busy year ahead. Do you, yes. do you know your schedule months out or is it kind of like every week? Because a lot of it's speaking mm -hmm. and traveling and going and talking to different groups, right? Some of them are reoccurring, so some of them book Miss Wisconsin every year. They're super excited to have her, and a lot of it I'm just going to be going out into the community and talking to organizations that I've already partnered with or I know that would benefit from having Miss Wisconsin at their event. Yeah. Can you go anywhere without makeup on? <laughs> um, well, if it's really relaxed, maybe if I'm at a farm and I'm milking cows or having to really do some dirty work, then maybe. But other than that, I'm fully prepared for everything with a full face of makeup. Yeah. <laughs> pictures. Yes. Yeah. You know yes. how that works. Right. When is Miss America this year? Do you we know? do not know yet. Okay, I didn't think so. No. I didn't know if they announced that or not. No, we do not know. But okay. uh, for all of us state title holders, we are ready to go at any point, <laughs> at any moment. We are ready to go. That, that's what we have been preparing for as a state title holder. So we're ready to go whenever Miss America is ready. Yeah, they're going to tell you next week. It's gonna right, be like, let's go. Yeah, they're yeah. going to yeah. switch in this year. Like, <laughs> last minute. Well, yes. congratulations Thank to you. you. What's the best yeah. way to, for people to follow you? You can follow us on Instagram. So we have the Miss America Wisconsin Instagram. We also have our Facebook page. We have our website where I'll be posting blogs and a lot of my appearances. And that's where you can also book me for an appearance as well. That's Good great. For you. Good congratulations. For you. congratulations. Thank you so fantastic. much. Yep. That website um, is MissWisconsin.com, yes. correct? All right. Thanks again.